What's going on everybody? I'm Gold Gas. This episode is going to show you some little tricks and tips on some gas and plumbing. If you enjoy, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Push that bell notification button as well. If you don't do that, you might miss out on some uh, new videos that drop. Maybe some new promotions and new competitions. So it's worth doing. Now this works on most old boilers and new. If you get something metal, Magic. even a little screw, a little washer, hold it up to the gas valve and if it becomes energised and has power to it, it will hold on to it. That sort of proves that it is getting power, might not be the correct amount of power, but it will give you an idea of what's going on. Obviously you still need to do your multimeter checks but it will give you some idea if it actually is getting power to it or not. It can make fault finding a bit easier. This next tip is referring to the Potterton Profile and Prima and Profile Need to Heat, the old boilers with the big grey knob. There's a test point in the front which you can actually unplug the gas valve cables to and plug it in that front test point and this when the power's on will permanently power up the gas valve and you can actually test whether that's working or not if you suspect it being faulty or sticking shut or the solenoid's not working at least then you can pressurize it with gas isolate it plug that in if it drops you know the gas valve's opening at least Now if you're sticking one of the sticky labels onto the boiler cover when it's metal, there can be a pig to get back off if you reinstate the boiler and it's working again. For example, if you put a warning notice on there and then you come back and correct the fault, there can be a pain to get off. But if you use WD-40, which most of you probably carry, spray it all over it, you can use vinegar, you can prick up the edges a little bit for the ones that have been on there a bit longer so it gets underneath, spray it again with whatever you're using, give it 15 minutes to half an hour depending how long it's been on there as mentioned and that will just peel straight off, no marks. If you have a sticker on plastic, olive oil is pretty good for that. Just smother a bit of that on it and that sticker will peel straight off again. If it's been on there a bit longer, leave it on for a bit longer. 15 to 30 minutes perhaps, that will definitely do it. Boiler drain offs. Most of them are different. You can carry loads of hoses with you. But actually a condensed pump hose fits a lot of them. And if you cut a length off, that hose and you put one end into the mastic nozzle push it right down leave it on there for a couple of days and once you pull that off you'll have one side which does a lot of, a lot of boiler models and then the other side will be perfect for a lot of others as well including Worcesters when recharging the air bubble on the heat ray cylinder can take ages of holding the TMP valve. You can balance a pair of grips on there, holding it open nicely, and you can crack on doing whatever you want. Little tip if you didn't know the vessel cap usually has a little dip on it, which fits perfect. Cha-ching! Again, like all these other tips, you can't just take as gospel, you have to do some other checks as well. But if zone valves, pumps or other parts are hotter than usual, you can't touch them, then that's usually a bad sign. And again, that's a telltale sign that that's at fault. Again, do your multimeter checks. As well as temperature, 
you can actually hear as well if something's faulty like those zone valves or mid position valves when you pull the lever it shouldn't be that noisy so if they're making a right churning noise or a mechanical noise it might just be the synchro motor or the head might need changing if you hold a screwdriver a long one to a part like a pump you can hear it running what i suggest you do is listen on some of them like a stethoscope to some good ones that are working get familiar with the noises that they sound like when they're actually working fine and then you'll be able to tell the noises when they're not so great and they're not running as smooth again don't take these as gospel but they are good sort of telltale signs if you add me on social media on instagram or twitter then you can find some competitions promotions and some plumbing disasters as well that does it for this video. Thanks for watching.